Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to make a hipster logo such as this one. So, uh, just enjoy the video and make sure to like this. And 45 likes, I'll release the template. So, uh, peace out, guys. I don't want to worry about nothing for a while. I just want to play around, live it like a child with old tunes jamming on my Walkman. What's going on, guys? It's Garrett, and today you guys a video on how to create your very own, uh, hipster logo, basic hipster logo. And, uh, this is my second time doing this because I did the whole thing the first time right here and I went to go click on the little Camtasia thing and it was zero 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 still on zero zero so I totally forgot to click the play button but uh today I'm bringing you guys this video on how to create this and uh, it's actually really easy really simple and I'm gonna leave basic in the title for a reason so uh let's get right into it so I'm gonna throw this in the top right hand corner and uh, pretty much what I did is open up Photoshop on a 1280 by 720 uh, document so when you get this, you're going to make the background like a tinted gray, not so gray, but it's not white. And then go to your black and then make it like a tinted gray, like a 1C, 1C, 1C. And then just take your, basically your ellipse tool and start off with a basic circle. And uh, this circle is pretty much the foundation to your thing. So you're going to take it and put the fill down to zero and go to blending options and click your stroke. And then put the stroke up to like eight. And, uh... Now, after you do that, just duplicate the circle and then make it a little bit bigger. And then go back to your thing. So you see how there's like a little gap? Uh, that's totally fine. You want that to happen. And then go back to your thing and put it down to four. So it's like half. And I uh, see how that makes that little cool uh, ring around it. And uh, that's pretty much a nice little cool tool to know. So uh, to go in depth in this, you do not want to add the uh, mid that's middle text first. You want to do the outside stuff first. So what I'm going to do is just click a new layer and then put a ruler on the top of this. Just do that by itself. Ruler at the bottom. And I'm going to control T that and find the ruler in the middle. Alright, and then you want to go and zoom in to the right side or left side or whatever your preference is. I think some lefties like going left. And pretty much just go like this. Make hold shift and drag down and then make a new layer. We'll make not make a new layer, but make a layer and then make it a fill and then flip vertically. And just keep it like that. And then just merge these two and then you guys can zoom out and see how you like it. So uh, after that, after you see how you like it, you're gonna take your pen tool and click right here and then click right here and then just kind of pen tool, like not pen tool, but pinpoint the location of how the circle would look and then just pretty much make the selection and hit <coughs> fuck and then just delete it sorry and uh you're good so uh, some people make this a little too big so i'm just gonna delete some of this off nice little decent chunk and um take the rulers off and i think that's pretty decent so a uh, nice easy cool thing to do oops ugh, i am weird and then go to edit transform and flip horizontally and then just pretty much drag to the other side like that so uh, that's pretty much the outskirts of it. So uh, now you can work with the inside, and inside's actually really easy. You want to start off with the arrows on first. So uh, you got to find some working space. I'm going to work right here. So what you want to do is go to your rectangle tools and just take your a rectangle and pretty much just drag it down like this. And just leave it there. So uh, that's there. And then what you want to do is just drag it into the middle. And then make it so it's like that size maybe a little smaller like that that's good and then you can just drag it back out so uh, next thing I want to do is just zoom into the top and just make a new layer and go from the middle upwards down like that and then up and then fill us in duplicate and flip horizontally And then zoom in and just pretty much make these together. And then just center it. Oh, it's going to be one of these. The farther you zoom in, like the more you can go over like one space. And then now you have that, and you work with the bottom. So uh, for the bottom, I only like doing this because I personally have no clue how to do the other one. And uh, just make a thing like that. And rotate it 45 degrees and put it in the side duplicate and then put it right there actually never mind I'll do it the other way 
Uh, take your thing, make a new layer, and drag outwards, down, and then inwards, and then make a layer filling it in with the color. And then duplicate, flip horizontally, and just drag it. So you see how easy it is? It's like magic. And then to zoom in and just kind of make it a little smaller. Word. Bam. There you go. Fuck. Too big. Alright, you know what? We got a big feather coming on the back of this. This is what I go duck hunting with. Some I'm a redneck. JK. But um, now that you have that, you're going to take your... Pretty much your thing. Your arrow. And just kind of move it into your circle. And then make it a little smaller. Shame it a little bigger. And just rotate 45 degrees. And then center it. Make sure it looks nicer than this because... I kind of done fucked mine up. And then just duplicate. Edit, transform, and flip horizontally. And you're good. And then take off your rulers. See so you how this is kind of space to work with? A little down. And uh, this is where you want to start with your stuff. Oh, that's... I burped and puked. So, um, to get first going, you want to start with the letters first. So, I'm going to use the font. i got to find it. Comforta. Comforta. And uh, I'm going to start with the B first. And uh, type in the font. So, uh, I'm going to leave this font in the download in the description. If I don't leave in the download in the description, comment on my video. Because I personally don't know what I do half the time. Like, pretty much after this tutorial, I will probably never make something like this again. But uh, after you do that, just pretty much duplicate this and bring it over to the side. And then change the letter. And I'll explain the letters in a second. So uh, if you're looking, you're probably looking like, why did he choose these two letters for opposites? But uh, the B for bear, D for design. So you see how they worked out together. And uh, pretty much that's it. You get us your letters. So uh, you guys can either do something else. You guys can take like your B and put it right here. And I will not your B. Like your name, B E H. That this is a lot bigger than the other ones and R. Yeah, that's definitely not the what, what, what. And then you have your R. But uh, I don't really like doing that, so I'm gonna just delete these and put the B back where it was. Duplicate, change it, and then move it. So uh, for the top one, what I'm gonna do is actually take my logo and I'm gonna throw it in right here and just kind of make it the same size, almost not the, almost the same size, but something rational to it because you don't want something crazily big or crazily small it has to just match the uh the given feeling and then you can just kind of center it out so uh now for the bottom part i'm gonna make a actually a pen tool so uh, i'm gonna make it all from the distance right here so uh pretty much making a pen tool is actually really easy what i want to do is just start with the base like this actually i'm not gonna make a pen tool i'm gonna use a cool little custom thing so if you go to your thing there's custom shape tool if you click right here, it brings down shapes. And I honestly never knew about this until like five minutes ago before I made this. So. Hmm. There we go. I'm going to use a cat paw. So uh, throw in something right here. I mean, you can't go wrong with the cat paw, honestly. Render this out. It's not too annoying me. That actually looks pretty gnarly. So uh, you pretty much make that there. Obviously you can put text. But uh, if you put text. I'll tell you one thing now. Uh, let's just say we put in. Godly. Put in text. Make it the same size. Please don't leave it like that. Like I did there. Because that's not going to look well. What you're going to do is just highlight it. Go to the, your warp and put an arc on it. Like that. And uh, put a vertical thing on. So it kind of like balances itself out. Something like that. But obviously you got to do it a lot nicer. I don't really know how to make it into a circle. I know in uh, Illustrator is way easier. But uh, now that you have that. You can pretty much do your other stuff. You can put uh, stuff here. You can wrap text around it. Uh, what I like doing sometimes is making a new layer. And then going to the side. With a white rectangle like this. With a rect like a actual rectangle. And pretty much going in.
And I gotta zoom in a little farther. So I go like one over like that, and then I go up a couple. So I go down, across, up, and I go like to a certain point. Let's do like one more. All right, and then I'll just merge these, duplicate, and flip vertically. What? Duplicate, flip vertically. There you go. And then kind of like redo these a little bit. But uh, you guys get the idea, and then it ends up being pretty cool. So I'm just gonna do that part. So you just merge them, and then you go back to your bottom shape, which is these shapes right here. And then you'll like highlight them. Let me just hide these for a second, and then delete it out, and it just leaves like a cool fade. But um, now that you have that, what else you guys can do is just uh, change the background color. And if I go to my original one, let me delete that, and take everything else and merge them. So uh, I'm gonna group these actually. So I'll group, hide, Control J, and I'll merge them. You guys can actually change the color. So I go this. I can change the color to let's just say I'm gonna change. It. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it up like this. I'm switching it up right now. Not really switching it up, but uh, basically like this, and uh, we're good. And it's not so hipster anymore, but uh. Pretty much this is what it is, what you guys can do. You guys can add your own text here and start with your own stuff. But this is just a basic outline to the basic structure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely subscribe to the Tutorial Hub. If you have any more comments, questions, or concerns, let me know in the comments below. I will leave a link in the description at 45 likes for this because 50 likes is too easy for you guys. So I'm going to go down because I'm a nice guy. But uh, 45 likes on release of PSD for you, which is pretty much just all this stuff, and you guys can change it yourself. Other than that, hope you guys enjoy this video, and uh, see you in my next one. Shout out to these daily uploads. I've been working my ass off for you guys. Peace.